Let's talk. <laughs> Look at your face right now. I'm just so happy. <laughs> so, cheers. It's the beer, right? That's why. Is it's it bad that this is making me want to drink no matter what you <laughs> uh, at? Hey, I'm Sophie Shalazy with ET, and here we are doing an interview under the influence with Hanson. <laughs> I am so excited, you guys, and I can't even actually pretend to have any chill. You guys were my first album that I ever had. I had it on cassette and CD. Fantastic. Die hard fan for a very, very long time. Twenty seventeen was a huge year for yeah. you guys. It was a good year for us. Yeah. The tour, the greatest hits album, the Christmas album. We've been going nonstop since. 92 practically when we started but but this is our 25th anniversary of being a band and and so we've been touring all over the world and that's been amazing but we also we, we've, we've warmed up for it though because the last yeah. couple of years we paused for a second and started a, a little beer company mm -hmm. and so we thought this was we knew this was going to be a busy year for music and touring because i Two decades in the business and yeah. you guys still get fan like crazy fan reactions like hormonal teenager level fan reactions and this was honestly the most nervous i've ever been preparing for an interview in my life just because wow. i think well, you're doing so very very well oh god thank you. you're doing <laughs> is that why we recommended drinking in this party? yes exactly <laughs> to just calm like myself down <laughs> no but i mean you guys i think have dealt with it so graciously over yeah. the years and and that's got to be hard for you being as young as you were. We got into this because of what we're pursuing. Mm -hmm. And I think the heart of, of uh, doing something for a long time is really knowing why you're doing it in the first place. And in our case, we were mm -hmm. always doing it for ourselves, right? So, doing it for our own drive. And I think- We're kind of conceited. Well, no, it's, <laughs> it's not that. It's, it's, not, it's more that you know where your center is. You know, you, um, and so it is extremely flattering to have people enthusiastic. Mm -hmm. And of course, as a young guy, of course, like a bunch of girls screaming, is not a bad thing. To be honest though, I think it would have to be really hard on your wives to be oh. put in that position initially when you yeah. all first started dating, yeah, right? Yeah, Did they absolutely. struggle with all the screaming girls? Well, no, they're all like, we won. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Like, Sucks to be you. We met all of our wives at shows. Right? Well, I oh, met all of our it. wives in some form or another at shows. Wow. You hope that there are fans to a degree. We're, I mean, we're, they better be fans. Otherwise, to a yeah. otherwise, <laughs> otherwise, they'd be nuts. They'd go crazy. Like you have to appreciate what you're yeah. doing. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, thank goodness we were in a band because I would have never ever found a woman. It's, it's still amazing really that he did. I know. Where's the love? It's not enough. In this I will go round and round it. All right, let's get into the game. Let's get to some real dirt here. Okay. So we are going to be playing Truth or Drink. I'm going to ask you guys a series of questions. If you answer, I will drink. And if you want to plead the fifth and not answer, then you all will drink. Mm. And today we are going to be drinking your signature beer. Yes. yes. Oh. Some mmm hops. This is our pale ale. Yes. Hi, everybody. So Maybe in it hops. does exist. In 2013, we officially started Hanson Brothers Beer Company. I and love this it. Is, uh, this is our, we, let's open. Let's just, let's cheers. signature beer. Cheers. This is just a pale ale. Sip. To the nice. truth. I'll, I'll tell you live guys in the confession infamy. first. Yeah, okay. This is, kills me with okay. embarrassment to say, but. I will drink first. So I'm happily married, but many years ago, I had big plans of being Zach's wife. So cheers to that. Wow, <laughs> that 7.5% alcohol works quick. Yep, so we're ready. <laughs> Here we go, okay. Have you ever written a song while tipsy or drunk, and have we ever heard it? Alcohol has definitely influenced some music. Um, it all kind of blurs together. Yeah, it does kind of blur the song. <laughs> Usually, let's just, let's just be honest that um, most have of I the songs... Have I done vocals? What? Drunk? Absolutely. I, I would say there are songs that have been written while drinking, but I don't know if the full drunk usually kills the song. Okay. Yeah, I does think, it? I think you have to do yeah. it. Yeah, I will drink. Or, you know, we can all drink together. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. It's a win-win, you guys. Tell me the most cringe-worthy encounter you've ever had with a fan. Zach is, Zach's like right now when she told me that she wanted to marry me a million years ago. Pretty crazy. You, you can drink. You're gonna that, drink right? to not a, to not answer this. Is that what you're? Yeah, that what you're absolutely. Meaning? That's that's your option. You can drink and not to have not to answer. answer that. If you got a story, I will hear it, Taylor. We're walking into a hotel room and having someone have be waiting in there. Really? Yeah, that's pretty creepy. Well, yeah, that yeah. is. That's a little cringeworthy. Yeah. Okay, I'll okay. take a sip. 
Oh, see, I think we're just all trying to like just. We're drink. just all trying to drink right now. Now this one I, we kind of already talked about, so I think I know the answer. My question is, have you ever hooked up with a fan? But y'all married fans, so yeah. <laughs> For the long haul. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. <laughs> what about before you were married? Oh, you're sipping. Okay, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> this one you need to collectively agree on. Mm -hmm. Shag Mary Kill Trios Edition. Here Shag are these Mary three Kill trios. Oh, okay. Destiny's Child, mm -hmm. Charlie's Angels, or the Golden Girls. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there is no okay. there is no discussion. Blanche. Blanche would take you to places you've never the been before. Well, too warm and too tingly. <laughs> warm and too tingly and too hot. No, just marry so the Golden Girls. So shag the Golden Girls? Marry the Golden Girls because girls. you get shag and married girls. together. And if, you, if you're married, and then, oh, and yeah. then the Golden Girls, you know, they've got experience on yeah. their side. Come on. <laughs> and and then you're you're going to you're gonna be very happy. Oh, man, yeah. Awesome. So, so you're you marrying the either. Golden Girls? Yeah, yeah. And you're yeah. killing Charlie's Angels. Well, because they're already involved in women. Yeah. And, and probably Destiny's Child because they're so bootylicious. Yeah. You're gonna marry yeah. them? No, we're gonna. No, that's, that's you're gonna, gonna shag. Wait, yeah. oh, you're marrying the Golden Girls? Yeah. Shagging yeah. Destiny's Child. Yeah. Is it bad that this is making me want to drink no matter what you want to do? Describe your most uncomfortable run in with another celebrity. I, that's just a drink. Please, guys, I demand you drink. You know, I okay. can drink. <laughs> Let's talk. Look at your face right now. I'm just so happy. <laughs> so, cheers. It's the beer, right? That's why. Let's go back and talk about your hair evolution. So say you hair want evolution. a hair Did you ever get asked? <laughs> you know? Okay. You know, because we, we had long hair. I still have long hair, by the way. Um, like, more like, like we're guys in like bands that have long hair. Like, like, we don't want to have to cut our hair. Like, yeah. Not, well, not as like, looking like how fashionable Steppenwolf. this is. And Led Zeppelin being like, they've got long hair, let's do it. Keep our hair out of, rebel uh, out of rebellion in some form. And then when you got older, did you decide, like, short, middle, long? Or are you like, we can't all have the same haircut, you guys? Um, no, no, it was definitely not that conversation. <laughs> it's, it's, it it's is just, just very, short, middle, long. That's more it's our, a very our actual genuine representation of the fact that we are very different people. Mm -hmm. I, I'm a, kind of a neat kind of clean and tidy kind of person. I'm a little yeah. bit OCD. You probably right. will never see me very rarely out, out of a pair of sneakers. Okay. Right? Yeah. You know, like, we're just very different. And like, what brings us together is like the shared experience, the life, but then the music, like the making and the music and needing, like, I need a guitarist, might as well be that guy. And masochism. <laughs> yeah. Mm. That too. Taylor's kind of right, well, slightly rebellious. He likes his, you know. <laughs> Likes his, his haircut to be undefined. <laughs> Party in the front, business in the back. Wait. Okay, last one for each of you. Tell me something about one of your brothers that we would never guess by looking mm. at him. Isaac has had more cavities than any other handsome brother. Really? Yeah. Sweet tooth? True. But you yeah. wouldn't no. know, you would know that because he's beautiful, pearly white. And he's also the best, probably the best. Uh, most hygienic, actually. Yes. What's the problem? Uh, least likely. <laughs> that is the least rock and roll that. thing you can no, ever no. say. <laughs> <Yeah>. Sorry. <laughs> See? No. That's what Weak I. Enamel. That's what Weak I got. Um, Zach <laughs> is. Zach has his own uh, 3D printer, and he makes custom models. With yes. It. Okay. You know, he made his own lightsaber yes. handle. Same custom lightsaber handle. Wow. It was pretty awesome. awesome. Is this making you really wish that office. you'd married him? I mean, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> things I wish my husband. <laughs> things I wish my husband did. Made his own custom <laughs> lightsaber handle. <laughs> with his, okay, his I see. Do Taylor. Do Taylor. Go. go. Okay. Please uh, don't use the word do Taylor. That's why I keep saying it. I got nothing, man. I have. I have no idea. You step in. I'll do one for Taylor. Yeah. Okay. Um, Taylor has fallen off the stage more times than any other handsome brother. Really? Yeah. yeah, but that's code for Taylor's the only one who's fallen off a stage. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That was, wasn't fun. I wouldn't recommend it. It's, it's just putting it all on the line. Yeah. Leaving yeah. yeah. it on stage. You know? How do you recover like, from that? Yeah, uh, and a lot of Advil. Yeah. Just get back <laughs> you know what you do? Like, you start a beer company it. so you can drown your sorrows. There you go. <laughs> Gump yeah. bite. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. We did not keep score today. I don't even know what the score would be. I don't know. I think it's, I win. We're all, all right, fair. I think we all win. I think we all win. That beer is delicious. Hey, everybody, we are Hanson. Yes, we, we enjoy are. having beers, but we recommend that you drink responsibly. Why? Always. Because drinking irresponsibly is dumb. So don't do it. Yeah, don't be dumb. Be smart. Be mm. responsible.
and cheers. <laughs>